Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fairly pleasant evening. It's certainly a breezy one at that. After that cold front came through, there's lots of wind and our temperatures have dropped down to the 50s and 60s. Blacksburg at 56 right now, Danville 65 and Lexington 55. That really sharp demarcation as to where the cold front hasn't passed through yet is still there. In Atlanta, it's still 75 degrees. In Dallas, it's still 85. So that front still has a ways to go. And I'm not super confident that it's going to make its way all the way down towards the coast. So there's still going to be some heat for the deep south and down into Texas. Winds are going to stay high for the next couple of hours, but by tomorrow morning, they're more reasonable. More breezy than a standard day, but it's not going to be anything like what we've got this evening. And gusts are going to be a lot more limited, too. Now, that cold front is going to keep on pushing down towards the southeast of us so that we get a lot of that cooler air coming in from the north. The high pressure that's off towards our west is going to prevent any clouds from forming. So really feeling like fall for that first full day tomorrow and that high pressure sticks around. Now I do think we've got some moisture coming in that'll develop more clouds on Saturday. It's not going to be super overcast and I think we stay pretty dry for Saturday, just not quite as clear as Friday. Still comfortable temperatures starting off in the 50s, so a little bit better than the morning that we have on Friday where we start in the 40s. And then in the afternoon, more mid to upper 70s, so slightly warmer. And then with another front coming later this week, we are going to see temperatures back into the 80s. But as far as tomorrow goes, lots of us feeling like fall and even a little bit later into fall than the average. Average highs right now are in the mid 70s, but NRV is going to get into the upper 60s. Highlands at 70 and then Roanoke, Lynchburg and Southside all stay in the low 70s. Not humid, so it actually feels like that. It's not really going to be too breezy either, so wind chill is not a big factor in the morning. Most of our average high temperatures for this time of the year are in the mid 70s. As you get closer to Halloween, average high temperatures are in the mid 60s, but it's the lows that really make it feel like we're a lot later in the season than we actually are. By Thanksgiving, we'll fall down into the mid 50s, and when we actually get to the start in winter, which is three months from now, we'll end up in the upper 40s for our highs. On Sunday, we are going to have kind of a warm start to the day since a cold front's coming in later on. So we add a little bit of heat that'll take us to the 80s. Scattered showers late in the day lead to a few extra through the night and into Monday. After that, lots of calm weather for the middle of the week. Overnight, it's going to be cool. You'll definitely want a jacket if you're headed out early. Pulaski at 45, hot springs at 44. And then tomorrow, our temperatures are going to climb up into the 60s and 70s. Blacksburg at 67 for the high, Danville at 72. Not feeling humid. We're not going to have too much in terms of wind. Either, so it's a pretty nice afternoon and then on Saturday we have some nice conditions as well. Then on the extended forecast Sunday hits. We have a little bit of warming before that cold front comes through shower Sunday night going into Monday and we're going to be pretty comfortable after that. Lots of high pressure with temperatures in the mornings in the 40s afternoons in the 70s. 